Hi everybody. Today's topic is facet analysis. So what is facet? What do you mean by facet? And how to analyze facets? Let us discuss. So first in the first slide we, uh, we need to discuss what is a facet. So facet is a part of a subject. So facet is nothing but it is a part of any subject and facet analysis means an analysis of a subject into its parts obtained on the basis of a systematic application of a set of characteristics. So what is what is meant by analysis? So and how do we analyze the facets means it is nothing but uh, it is analysis of a subject into its parts. So subject can be divided into or analyzed into the parts at, that can be obtained on the basis of a systematic application of a set of characteristics. So there should be a set of characteristics. So based on that set of characteristics only we can analyze the subject into various parts. And facet analysis of a subject results in the formation of groups of classes. So by the analysis of facets the subject can we can divide the subject into some groups of classes. So facet is and a part of a subject and facet analysis means formation of groups of classes. And coming to next one. So this is a definition given by Dr. Ranganathan, Dr. S. R. Ranganathan. So as all of you know that uh, he is the father of uh, Indian library science. So according to Ranganathan, so what, you, what is the definition of facet analysis? So it is an analysis of a subject into facets according to the principles stated for the purpose. So this is the definition given by Dr. S. R. Ranganathan. So uh, he also defined the facet analysis, the subject analysis of a subject into its facets and the, there should be some principles stated for the purpose. So, if we, we need to, if, if the facets are analyzed, there should be some principles. Based on the principles only, we can, uh, we can do the analysis of a facet. Okay. Next one. And so here, take for example, Poland classification and facet analysis. So, the, in the facet analysis, how the analysis of facets is or uh, we can analyze the facet analysis in colon classification. This is the scheme and among the systems of library classification, it is in colon classification that we see the clear application of facet analysis in full measures. So the, as we know that all there are different systems of library classification and different schemes of library classification. So among all those schemes of classification, it is the Poland classification. In this Poland classification only, we can see the clear application of facet analysis uh, in full measure. Okay. And Ranganathan developed fundamental categories from the thorough analysis of subjects into their facets. So the Dr. Ranganathan, he is the person, he developed he developed fundamental categories that are PMEST, personality, matter, energy, space and isolate. So he developed these fundamental five fundamental categories to, from the thorough analysis of subjects into the facets. So coming to the example, here we can say that uh, if we can take the title, this title is According to colon classification, we are analyzing the facets. So this is the title, Treatment of Lung Disease in India in 1997. So this is the title. So this title is analyzed into its following facets. 
so according to this title the basic subject here is medicine uh, we can understand that here there is, there is uh, the facets are treatment uh, lung disease uh, so we can based on these facets we can analyze or we can find that the basic subject here is medicine and according to fundamental categories five fundamental categories we can analyze the facets that lung the body organ of human body uh, is known as personality so according to lung and other all the body organs are known as or he divided all the body organs into personality facets so lung is personality and uh, disease this here action here sorry matter so matter is known as disease all the materials are uh, material facets are known as uh, matter and here in the basic subject medicine the disease is the matter and the coming to energy point of view energy is the um, action all action isolates are uh, all action isolates are regarded as energy here so here in the disease if the disease is matter the treatment the action is the energy treatment is the energy and here we can easily identify that india is a space and time here 1997 so with this writing according to polar classification we are analyzing the facets into its different classes groups of classes this is the first example in polar classification and coming to dv decimal classification there is another classification scheme that is dv decimal classification you all know that the founder of dv decimal classification is melville dv so according to dv decimal classification how will be the facet analysis so let us discuss in dv decimal classification there is clear indication of the hidden use of facet analysis for the design of the classification system so if we can uh, we can analyze the facets in dv decimal classification also and there is a clear indication in the uh, uh, in the use of uh, Uh, facet analysis also in db decimal classification so in the editor's introduction to the 19th edition of ddc it is stated that in all classes starting from 002029 and 069 to 079.1 and .192 .1 to .9 and 090 and 100 700 900 so in all these classes unless a different sequence is described that is the arrangement is first by most specific discipline and most specific subject under it then the by area of specialization uh, then by time specialization schedules permit then by form of presentation so in this slide we can say that uh, there is a uh, clear cut facet analysis is uh, is stated in db decimal classification in editor's introduction to the 19th edition of ddc so with the example so this is example so here the works of shakespeare is classified as follows so the title is here works of shakespeare uh, shakespeare's dramas uh, in literature in english literature so here the literature class the discipline here is the literature this is the main class literature uh, lit the number the ddc number according to literature is 800 so we are taking only 8 and the number language here language is which language the language uh, the shakespeare's language is english and he was a famous author in english language so that's why we can take the english language and the book is in english language and this is english the language is english and the number for english is 2 2 according to uh, db decimal classification that is 820 is english literature we can take 82 and the form here is a drama the book is in drama form uh, so that's why the number for uh, drama is 2 so take 2 uh, and the period the period is here known as elizabethan period comes uh, during between 1558 to 1625 
So according to Elizabethan period, the number is according to DDC schedules, number is 3 for Elizabethan period. We can take this from period table. And uh, the work see here are the Shakespeare's works, the author, and the author number is here 3. So thus, the number is here 8 double 2 dot double 3. 8 two two dot 3 3 or 8 double 2 dot 3 3 is the number for Shakespeare's works. So this is the analysis of facets in TV decimal classification. And coming to there is another scheme of classification that is universal decimal classification and uh, the facet analysis in UDC is come is so this is the scheme it has adapted it has adapted the the basic structure of DDC but has developed on its own philosophy policies and principles so though the UDC uh, adopted the basic structure of DDC but uh, the UDC has developed its own philosophy UDC has its own philosophy policies and principles uh, in forming the facet and facets and the facet structure of UDC is much more clear than it is in DDC and some of its faceted features are given below. So this is uh, these are the examples and in UDC universal decimal classification there are common auxiliaries of place, race and the nationality, time, points of view etc. So with the help of these auxiliaries we can analyze the facets and there are facet indicators also colon and square brackets double colon and uh, to combine two or more facets so we can use uh, these indicators to combine two or more facets and there are special auxiliaries also there they are to introduce facets peculiar to given a basic class with the specific facet indicative so common auxiliaries and special auxiliaries are also there in UDC to analyze the facets. So this is about facet analysis. So in this class we discussed what is a facet. Facet is a part of a subject and what is the facet analysis. And uh, there are different schemes of classification. We, we, I, give, I give the examples in pollen classification as well as in DDC and UDC universal decimal classification. So with this I conclude. Thank you.